Director Tim Miller recently announced that the trailer for Terminator 6 Dark Fate with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton will be released soon. The film's official Twitter channel featured a photo from the editing room showing Hamilton in her role as Sarah Connor with a bazooka on her shoulder. Underneath is a statement by Miller which reads as follows. I like to spend every Terminator day in a dark room thinking dark thoughts and our edit bay is the perfect place. We're here putting the finished touches on our first trailer. We're just weeks away from releasing this fucker into the wild and we're very, very excited. However, they seem to have missed out on an exact date for the first trailer, as Miller's few lines unfortunately don't reveal this. But if you believe the statements, it won't take too long. Hopefully, we learn a bit more about the plot, because so far it's only known that Schwarzenegger and Hamilton will return to their cult roles, but nothing more. The plot will be located directly after Terminator 2, as it has been known for quite some time. On November 1st, 2019, you will be able to see Terminator 6 Dark Fate in cinemas in the US. Since the release of the 8th season Game of Thrones, the opinions of some fans have been increasing that they expected more from the final season of the series, which has been broadcasted since 2011. On Change.org, a user named Dylan has even started a petition which demands a remake of the last season. In the info text it says concrete, David Benayoff and D.B. Weiss have proven themselves to be woefully incompetent writers when they have no source material to fall back on. This series deserves a final season that makes sense. Subvert my expectations and make it happen, HBO. By Thursday, more than 270,000 other dissatisfied fans had signed the petition. The core of the frustration is above all that the current final season is not based on a book by George R. R. Martin, but entirely written by the screenwriters. Despite hundreds of thousands of signatures, it is very unlikely that the fans will be successful with their petition. Nevertheless, many people claim that the Sonic producers have recently been persuaded to change the appearance of the protagonist. However, HBO probably will not give in and produce a completely new 8th season just because some fans are disappointed. If you look at the ratings of the internet platform Rotten Tomatoes, it becomes clear that the euphoria of the first season has clearly decreased. While the first season has a score of 94%, the 8th season only has a score of 71%. Nevertheless, we are curious to see how the Game of Thrones saga will be brought to a close in the US on May 19th. Pokemon Detective Pikachu has already broken some records. With a taking in result of 58 million US dollars, the video game adaption around the yellow Pokemon now holds the record for the most successful starting weekend of a game adaption in the USA and even passes Lara Croft Tom Brader released in 2001. On a global scale, the start weekend was also worth it, as the Master Detective with Ryan Reynolds' voice earned 170 million US dollars worldwide. But not only the box office results, but also the reviews speak for the film, especially in comparison to other video game adaptions. On Rotten Tomatoes, Master Detective Pikachu is the only film adaption listed as fresh. For all those who haven't seen it yet, the film has been shown in cinema since May 10, 2019. It's no secret that the John Wick series is currently one of the most popular action films. The reason for this is not only shooting star Keanu Reeves, but also tough and elaborately staged action, which is unsurpassable at the moment. This is also being reflected in the age rating, because it seems that the third part is still on the trail of its immediate predecessor. As we know now, the film is R-rated. Thus, shortly before its release, the movie shows once again that no compromises will be made in the upcoming third part and therefore they can maybe even attract some undecided action fans to the cinema. Thematically, however, the movie also has a lot up its sleeve. After all, after a dishonorable murder, the whole underworld and with it also former colleagues are pretty keen on killing the killer and grabbing the bounty of 14 million US dollars. With an advantage of only one hour, Wick has to gain the greatest possible advantage in order to not end up as a corpse himself. If John Wick can do that, we can see on Thursday, May 24th, 2019 in the cinemas. One of the most popular family comedies of the late 80s will get a reboot, which will be Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. For those of you who belong to Generation Y rather than Generation X, here's a little summary. The kinky scientist Wayne Solinsky has accidentally shrunk his two children Amy and Nick, as well as some children from the neighborhood. From now on they have to find their way in a world that is full of dangers like suddenly oversized insects. The only downside of this family comedy is that the special effects are no longer up to date. That's another reason why Disney thought it wasn't a bad idea to produce a reboot of the comedy. The story of the new strip is supposed to be set in the same universe as its original predecessor and the two sequels. But this time it's not Wayne, but Nick Solinsky, his now grown-up son, who's the cause of the disaster. 
He is supposed to be impersonated by Josh Gad, who last worked in Beauty and the Beast as well as Frozen. By the way, everyone who suspects another exclusive Disney Plus movie can relax, because that's probably not the case. In fact, Shrunk is supposed to be a movie. However, the release date will probably not be before 2020.